have in seats. You still wish for me to officers. Today, I want to say without any fear of contradiction that after today, Nigeria has never been in the same way. Mm -hmm. They have applause for that, please. <laughs> Why? Because our revered father has been coming to the U.S. so many times. But this is the first time I visit in Nigeria. Thank the good God for this day. Glory to the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. We are also cautious of the fact that KBS's program is tight. And as we speak, the mayor and other city officials are waiting for him at the city hall. Because he believes strongly that his word is his bond when he said, I must stop by Nigeria House. So please, if we do 10, 15 minutes, I know you want to stay here with him, but he doesn't have that time. He really has to go. May I then use the opportunity to please invite one of the cabinets in which I uh, also respect cabinets, Oba and I to please introduce the entire of this environment. Thank you. The entire majesty, your excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. With the entire majesty today, is a uh, Royal Majesty, the Lumo of the Bank, my real estate, and he's here with his uh, own Majesty too. On my right is uh, His Majesty, only by your by the show state. Then after him is uh, Olofin Adu Ojudu of Ogo State. Okay, next to him is uh, Deputy Mayor of Milwaukee. Jala is the head hunter. Announce yourself. Fine, uh, fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wave of evil spirit and they make way for the things to pass. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. The prayer majesty, I'm a consultant. May I please invite, we're very short speed before our royal father, our esteemed royal father, give a very brief report before the consultant. May I please call Oba and allow Francis to please give a short speech. You want? Yeah. Yeah, not introduce that before. Okay. Introduce Okay. Yeah. Well, because of time, I will appreciate if the officers as you expect to please just mention your name because we don't hear at the moment. Okay. Yeah, uh, my name is Israel Kapil. Mazu Ibrahim, charge of finance. Christopher Nomangu, immigration attache. Right. Bello Alton Arbungu, immigration attache too. Aminu Masari, VC2. Uh, Colonel Mohamed Sanda, deputy defense advisor. Musa Yusuf Adi. Leonard Aseh, I'm a consul in charge of welfare assisting. I'm also personal assistant to the city. Thank you. Nicholas Bassi, the VC, admin to. Thank you, Honours Officers. Thank you very much. May we now uh, invite our cabinet of our Lao Francis to please give us so sweet.
stuff of this uh, our consul, uh, Nigeria House. We thank the Almighty God for this wonderful grace given unto us. We are going around the globe. We are going around the world. We just left Brazil about a month ago, two months ago. And all what we are propagating is just peace, unity, love. Love to humanity, not only in Nigeria. And also in Nigeria, peaceful coexistence of Nigeria is very, very, very paramount to us too. And if we can do that in Nigeria, also we extend it to every part of the world. And that's why we are here also today. I think our programs are very choke up. From here now, we, we're going to New York, uh, New York City. From there, we will embark on one program or the other tomorrow. But all we want to give a very message to this house, please, let us replicate what we stand for. Let that be our objective. Let that be our vision. Nigeria, I believe, we believe in Nigerian unity. And we believe strongly that firmly that Nigeria will come stronger from all the challenges we're facing back home. Politically, the vision, you know, ethnic issues, you know, stuff like that. But we believe Almighty God, that's what our Baba has been preaching, that as long as we, we have love for each other, definitely everything will come back together. And this, all these challenges will be a past issue by special grace of God. Uh, while we are here, we just want to honor this house. We will know that you must have been going through one administrative challenges or the other. But for us coming here with Baba today, definitely we know that by the time we leave here, next time we are coming back, you give us good news by special grace of God. Amen. Thank you very much. Prime Minister. And please listen, please, because it's important that I say it right. I don't think it's not just a first class primary ruler in Nigeria, in the whole world. It's well recognized. I will thank God for that glory. Sir. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. At this time, before the Consul General give his remarks, so we can draw the curtain because we really have to go. May I then, with maximum respect, humbly call on the, the Consul General of Nigeria, Honorable Ben Okoye, a man, as we all know, protocol wise, the Consul is in charge of all Nigerians. And this is the end of our first. Just about a few minutes ago, when we get to have details of your program to City Hall, as a representative of the government, he also decided that he has to be your entourage to visit the mayor's office. And we want to thank him for that. Honorable Consul General, Ben Okoye will not address us. Mr. Real Majesty, Real uh, Imperial Majesty, we are very grateful for this your visit today. I want to put on record that he has said since my arrival, we have been receiving a series of visitors. This is the highest we have had. And uh, I was told you have been in New York several times. And this is uh, the first time we are honored in this house to have you. Because of your love, because of what you stand for, because of what you preach, we are very grateful for this honor. I also make arrangement to see the deputy mayor. Now I'm seeing him for free here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> again, I'm hearing you are going for a program where the mayor of uh, New York will be there too. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, without your invitation, <laughs> I've already invited myself. <laughs> I will also be there. 
Goodness another bonanza for me. <laughs> you can see that your visit has already brought some blessings to the Nigerian house. Yes. And uh, it is very heartwarming. But we mentioned that you are coming to the Nigerian house. Everybody in this building, whether they are in the consulate or not, they wanted to be part of it. The place was jam-packed, we waited, a lot of people were waiting because they want to see Baba. And we are grateful that the weather nothing disappointed us and your, your, your visit was made a success. We want to wish you well in your throne. I have been privileged to visit your palace several times because I've been following a lot of people around. And that blessing has been following me. So though you bring it to where I'm also serving. <laughs> 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 Because you have no time, we have noted you know, your achievements within the short time of your reign. And God will help you Amen. continue to do this good work. Amen. God will see you as one of those that will unite Nigeria. Amen. God will see you as someone who others will look up to. It is our prayer that as you go around the world, others will also follow your example. Amen. We also want to wish you success in all your assignments in the United States of America. And we pray that you continue to do this your good work anytime we call on your call on you to continue to give your good advice to everyone that it. Once again, I welcome you to Nigeria House. Okay, um, he just uh, he, he's uh, one of our, our, our senior colleagues here. He just informed me that he has a message from the, the permanent uh, representative. The ambassador was telling you he was around. I think he went for program. So you just sent him with a message. With your permission, we will ask him to give the message. Kabi is his son. I've all said, all I've just said is that may his days be long. Yeah. And I've greeted him in a traditional way. So we'll continue like here the very uh, uh, The message I have is from the permanent uh, representative of Nigeria to the United Nations. His Excellency. <laughs> well, we got the information that you are going to be in town, and they gave him the program. He said, oh, he's going to be here? We were well, supposed to be on our way to Maryland. He diverted. And we went straight to the National Museum, the Federal House, and saw himself and our colleague, Tokwe, who happened to be from Oshu, and from the Bible. <laughs> so we were so excited. They said the program is 1 o'clock. We left here at 12 30. And instead of going to Maryland, we should go there. And we waited 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 2.30. There's another program here by 3. So I said, okay, since this program has not been started, let's go and attend this one. As we entered his office, we got to his office, there was nobody there. What happened? They said, you're new there. I said, ah. Who let him know that I was just coming from looking for him? So, we are happy that we are here, and uh, he is so excited. 